Hey cool guys, welcome to my channel. Today we are gonna create seamless backdrop. So let's get started. First, go to selection persona. Get the smart selection brush tool. Adjust the size and then start making selection of our subject. When you are done, click here to refine our selection. Select new layer and hit apply. Now look at, we have some wrinkles around our subject. To remove them, click three dots. It will select our subject. Then go to Grow Selection tool. You can adjust the radius to increase or decrease the selection. We want a deeper selection to remove those wrinkles. So type minus 1.5 or 2. It just touches the edges. Go to Photo Persona and duplicate the selection. Now delete extra subject layer. Press and hold to deselect. Still we have some issue. First select our subject layer then go to erase brush tool. Opposite and 400%. You can always change the flow and opacity to make it smoother. Now select our main layer. Go to color picker tool and select a brighter area from our backdrop. Click this plus icon and get the fill layer. Select our fill tool. With the fill tool, you can create two points. Turn off the fill layer. Go to color panel. Take the color picker tool and select darker part from our backdrop. Turn on the fill layer. Select our top point. Go to color panel again and here our selected color. Actually, we wanna set darker part for our background and brighter part for shadow. Turn off the fill layer, select our main layer, go to selection persona and get the freehand selection tool. Select the bottom area for the shadow. Go to photo persona and press and hold to duplicate. Bring our shadow layer on top of fill layer. Go to layer option and rename it shadow. Change the blend mode to multiply to create shadow vibe. Turn on fill layer. We want to keep the shadow in this side and light from this side. To adjust that, go to adjustments and get the curve. Make the curve as solid layer so it can affect only our shadow. Make a point at middle, then another point between middle and top. Bring this point slightly up, then start bringing the top point to left. You can notice our shadow is gone from this side. To make our shadow smoother, go to filter. Remember to turn on the light filters. And then apply lens blur. Bring our lens blur layer on top of shadow layer. Adjust the radius. Around 15 looks fine for me. Now our shadow looks smoother. Select our shadow layer and go to layer option. Bring down the opacity around 60. And also bring down the source blend range to blend our shadow. Now select our subject layer, then press and hold to duplicate. Select our second subject layer, then go to filter and apply Gaussian blur on it. Radius just one. 
it just creates a shadow around our edges. You can also adjust the opacity or change the blend mode to multiply. Finally select our subject layer. Go to Mars option and apply Mars visible. Now we can turn off those layers. Keep selecting our new pixel layer and go to developer sona. Here we will try to pop our image. You can copy my numbers but I want you to play around and get the best settings for you. This is where we start and this is the final result. Alright guys, that's for today. Thanks for watching.